today we're gonna be making a tier list of the thickest rise of kingdoms waifus because i am incredibly cringe what's going on guys cheers okay so a couple of weeks ago i had a live stream okay and in that live stream i jokingly threw out the idea like oh i should make a tier list of the thickest babes in rise of kingdoms and since i made that comment i've had some people who have reminded me that it's time that i make that video and now i just feel obligated and also who's cringe enough to make this type of content besides me i feel like it has to be me i gotta do it someone's gotta do it it's gotta be me okay so here we are we're in the tier maker we got all the beautiful commanders and waifus and other characters that are in the game here you can see in the bottom right we didn't just limit it to only commanders okay there's plenty of women in this game that we're gonna be talking about okay now full disclaimer all right and i feel this is weird but i gotta say it i'm gonna assume that all these characters are adults okay we're on the same page there all right fbi if you're watching please listen okay these are they're just cartoon characters so okay, you don't gotta throw me in jail all right so i listen i know this looks bad it's pretty fucking cringe as it is let's just let's just get on with it okay i feel obligated we got to go ahead and do this i don't i don't know why these two don't have a, a an icon here okay i couldn't find their icon in the game files so i know they exist i'm just super lazy and i just threw this together so thumbs up the video for being a lazy piece of garbage anyway okay first we're starting with mark's woman okay she's fierce she's a savage okay she's a peacekeeper and she she do be kind of thick okay just i mean let's just keep it real it is what it is just it, you can look at it with your eyes you can see i think mark's woman is a great looking character okay do i think she's s tier no i don't think she quite makes the s tier i think she's a solid b i think she's just right up the just right down the middle she's she looks great she's perfect but she's not like exceptionally well designed or anything like that okay so mark's woman solid b tier and i think it's good that we start with a b tier right i think it's good that we kind of set the baseline right there right down the middle boom Mark's woman is our baseline b tier commander okay next we're moving on to tomo gozen this controversial character was redesigned okay i did find many images of her online with the complete uh white makeup on her face i don't know the backstory there if you know the backstory you can comment down below but they changed her okay she's got a great outfit on i don't know when it comes to like archery right what 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 do these leggings have to do with it, it clearly it has nothing to do with archery i don't think I, i'm no professional when it comes to archery but i think this is just because she wants to look good and and she's nailing it okay she's got the kimono the ratio of the hips to the waist is it, let's let's just be honest here it is an unreasonable expectation for women but great news we are not rating real women we're rating characters because that's how pathetic we are anyway i think her design is perfect okay i don't know how i can make tomo even better than she already is okay she is gonna go right in the s tier she's our first s tier waifu in rise of kingdoms baby moving on to sarka okay sarka actually has her own animation and i think she's one of the only if not the only elite tier commander that has her own little animation cutscene, and that's because she's actually gorgeous okay she's beautiful she's wooing all the men okay and then she's killing them and that's kind of badass but also i feel like i wouldn't trust her you know i just feel like i wouldn't trust her she also looks a little bit on the older side is that just me i think she looks a little bit old also her hair is like what's going on there okay if we watch that again beautiful uh legs er, cringe anyway her hair is kind of funky i don't know what's going on there with the two long like things there but there's no doubt that she is an absolute badass she's a savage she's got the figure i think she's got a couple of drawbacks i also feel like she's kind of a she's kind of a bad bitch and i feel like she'd cut me okay so we're gonna put her in the eight eight tier she's obviously beautiful but you know i, I don't know there's just kind of sketchy i think you know i think she's kind of a little bit sketchy so we're gonna throw her in a that's why she's not in the s tier okay let's move on to constance another busty blonde here in in the in the elite category all right so i don't know what's going on there but it is what it is she's undoubtedly beautiful i think her staff here is kind of stupid okay it, like it's kind of like a dumb bitch thing that you would do you know i i just don't understand this it's obviously not going to help you in war does she have some sort of degenerative like bone disorder can she not walk without this cane i don't know the backstory there okay so if that's the case 
don't make a hate thread in the comment section below okay i'm not trying to be insensitive i just think this kind of looks uh like doofy you know it kind of looks dorky it looks stupid all right but besides that she besides her her choice of uh of staff i think she's quite beautiful okay let's just let's be honest she's got similar features to sarko but she looks sweet she's like a nice girl you know she's like someone that you would like introduce your uh your parents to or whatever but that also makes her kind of boring so we're gonna drop her in a tier okay she's she's beautiful but she i don't know i feel like i'd get kind of bored of constance if we're gonna be completely honest here next up we got dao chan from dynasty warriors okay and she is an absolute babe let's just keep it let's just call it how it is okay she's an absolute babe her choice of of attire here is is perfect the again her body proportions are ridiculous it just actually just just kind of stupid in a, in a way right but that's the art style of the game she's beautiful i i don't really have any bad things to say other than like maybe this bow on the top kind of look come on really like come on you know that's a little bit ridiculous other than that i'm sort of getting a little bit of ariana grande vibes is that just me I, I don't know the weapon choice here is kinky at best let's just be honest it's kind of a whip all right she's 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 getting ready to whip you and and sign me up okay dao chan s tier let's be real s tier you don't you're not disagreeing with me are you come on let's be honest next up is joan of arc and this is probably this is probably a fan favorite okay she's one of the ogs she's actually really good in the game like just objectively she's powerful for a commander super thick okay let's just your armor is not hiding anything anything joan okay you're quite thick and we can tell uh but you also mean business right she's got her hair in the in the, tied up because she's like going to war like you're gonna die and and she's okay with that right so she's all business i feel like she you know she maybe wouldn't be that fun she'd just be like very you know like if she lived in today's day and age she'd be wearing like a suit and she would like be you know work at like a big uh, accounting firm or something you know i just feel like she's very strict very business like she's kind of a workaholic that's kind of what i'm getting at here so i'm gonna put her in the a tier all right i think she's a little bit more boring than the other ones on the top here she great looking in fact i'll probably put her at the top of the a tier let's just be let's just be clear there okay next up we got kira or kira i, I don't know how exactly you would pronounce it don't yell at me in the comments section below please she another one young wild and free okay she honestly she kind of looks like she might smell a little bit okay humongous uh it, it is what it is those strings aren't really they're like they're they're doing god's work to keep this all together okay but besides that she really looks like she would probably drink soup out of uh, a skull or something you know what i mean and to me that just absolute like animalistic savagery uh it's for some people it's not for me certainly if i ordered something and they bring me the wrong thing at a restaurant she'd be the one to tell the manager right um which is great but i you know i don't know that just seems like a lot also she'd probably stab me so kira putting her in the c tier i'm not really interested you know i'm not really interested there's a there's a, a lot going on there and i'm not going to be involved next up is Boudica. okay we got Boudica. she's got that nickname for a reason she's definitely kind of thick okay she's definitely there she's she's there in the thick department here's the thing about Boudica, okay she's given me like neighbor next door a girl next door vibes right she's cute you've known her since kindergarten right you know she's just a very friendly type of girl you borrow a flower from her when you run out you know she's just nice she got the flowers in her hair you know what i mean she's there for you when you need her but you're not really that interested in her you know that's just me that's the vibes that i'm getting here okay she's very cute she's she's an, a lovely girl okay lovely woman let's just uh you know i don't know I'm, I'm gonna put her in the b category okay next up we have queen tamar of georgia and she kind of looks like a bitch let's just come you know like she kind of looks like she's she she knows she's better than you but she's kind of a bitch about it you know she's got she's got the figure but her personality just completely turns you off her chin is held high like she is almighty she is a queen of course which means if you marry her you will be rich huge plus there that means you can be a stay-at-home dad and play rise of kingdoms all day but again i just think we'd get into a lot of a lot of arguments uh she'd be she'd be, be very headstrong about her opinions even if she's wrong also what's this chin strap she's got going on here boring hairstyle not really a fan of queen tamar of georgia i just don't think the chemistry is there i'm gonna put her in the d category huge turnoffs there i don't know just weird vibes okay am i crazy am i the only one who feels that way let's move on to matilda she's a duchess okay she has every reason to keep 
her head held high and uh yet she's not okay she's also giving me the same sort of vibes as Boudica. it's like you know your best friend's wife that's what i think of when i see matilda okay she's sweet she's she's attractive you know it, you, you see what people see in her and everything she's got the big beautiful eyes no chin where'd her chin go you know what i mean i don't understand where her chin is her neck doesn't exist either beautiful but just just more of a friend you know i'm gonna put her in the b category as well uh i think she's yeah she's at the bottom of the b category i think that's my personal opinion next up we have ethelfled who is the first legendary that we're gonna be talking about today and for good reason okay ethelfled is an absolute babe not only is she ready to get down to business she's ready to kill your enemies okay she's got uh an incredible you know figure uh, is is what i'll say she's beautiful she's got a dead animal on her shoulders so that's kind of weird i'm gonna be honest with you that's gonna knock her down a couple of points for me but she's still in the a tier okay in fact i'm gonna put her right uh right here she's gonna be right here in the a tier joan i think is a little bit better okay it's a little bit better but uh, ethel fled beautiful character next up we got a mandatory okay and she is renowned for being thick let's just yeah it's obvious okay you know it i know it every everyone knows it she's she's just she's thick in every in every aspect everywhere you look at her but also she's kind of got the forearms like she's kind of jacked she would definitely beat me in, in, a, in an arm wrestling contest okay she'd beat the shit out of me in fact she could she could probably kill me in hand-to-hand -hand combat even without her weapons she's powerful she's confident but not in the same bitchy way that that queen uh tamar of georgia is you know at least that's that's not how i'm feeling when i'm looking at her she seems really powerful okay like she'd be she'd definitely be wearing the pants in the relationship so a, a mandatory definitely an a a rank here next up is artemisia artemisia is the emo punk girl that you had a crush on in high school it, it is okay look at the piercings here the jet black hair with the eye makeup she's got the jet black eyebrows and the lipstick and everything like that she is every emo boy's fantasy and she's mine as well she is beautiful like just choke me okay just fucking choke me just end it all right i'm ready it's fine i've, I've seen enough of this world just artemisia you can step on me it's fine i'm down with it she's top of the s tier for me okay just she looks like she would emotionally destroy me and uh, but in a way that i would be willing to just do it the rest of my life you know what i mean so ruin my life artemisia please let's move on to cleopatra cleopatra has some pretty big um eyes which are beautiful right they're big beautiful eyes and i love it okay i love cleopatra she looks gorgeous she's regal but she carries it well like it just fits her like a warm coat okay her royalty just is it looks good on her okay not sure what these uh these these sort of tools are she's holding okay these are obviously like religious something or others they look like toys i don't really understand that but uh, undoubtedly cleopatra is beautiful and she's a queen so she's rich and she runs an entire empire which is great i'm a huge fan of that cleopatra is gonna go at the bottom of the s tier i think she deserves it i think she does something about the uh something about the eyes it just she she's now she nails it okay next up we've got yadviga yadviga looks like that aunt that just brings the mac and cheese to dinner you know you have a family gathering she's got the great mac and cheese she brings it everyone loves it it's yadviga right that's what she looks like to me that's what I, that's what I, that's the vibes i'm getting here very sweet great cook overall wonderful woman uh underneath that crown i feel like she's got a big forehead you know what i'm saying i just feel like she's got a she's got a five head you know what i mean uh and and for that reason i'm not i'm not super like turned on here you know uh, i don't really get the whole the whole get up with the dress and the fur what are the, these look like feathers coming out here i don't like her fashion sense really uh and just overall like she's a lovely woman she probably has a great desk job you know what i mean responsible has uh, modest achievements and whatnot but overall mm, i don't know she's she's gonna go here in the in the c tier at the bottom of the c tier okay she's she's fine it is what it is now here's the thing about mulan okay it's just it is what it is all right it is what it is we're not even going to entertain this mulan is going to be 
you know what she, we're not ranking mulan we're not ranking she's not going on the list okay she's not going on the list don't be weird okay uh, i'm gonna get so much hate for this video the guys this might be my last video drop a thumbs up on it just in case okay follow my second uh, channel in case i get canceled anyway next up is sunduk okay and sunduk see now you got you got me reading the history in case she's like fucking 14 or some shit okay i don't know i i don't know anything about her okay so forgive me she just does not look innocent okay and i want to find out more that's 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 what these eyes are telling me I don't know why it's just we're making direct eye contact right now like are we flirting right now Sunduk that's kind of okay call me no okay so Sunduk absolutely gorgeous she's beautiful let's just she's beautiful okay Sunduk is gonna go uh above Cleopatra and uh, you know what I think above Dao Chan I think she's she's right up there okay she is right up there let's move on to Theodora now Theodora is uh she looks like your grandmother okay she looks like she's kind of uh she's kind of a cougar let's be real okay she's she's kind of a cougar very confident she's a boss ass bitch okay she's a boss ass bitch she is she looks kind of old okay so she's been around the block this is your mother this is your grandmother okay but despite her age she is beautiful she, she's gonna go in the c tier she's going in c tier i'm okay with that i'm okay with how she's looking okay she could be a little bit older it's fine she she could she could show me the ropes all right let's move on to tamiris now i don't know what's going on with these cheekbones and her massive eyes but she looks like an alien to me she kind of looks like an alien in my opinion okay i don't know i i, I mean she's just she kind of looks like she's a warrior um the helmet's kind of dorky i don't know what this shield she has behind her i'm not really i don't understand that i don't know i'm not really i'm not really feeling it tamiris i'm not gonna lie okay i'm not super i don't understand the design here i don't really understand the fashion sense so i'm gonna put her at the top of the d tier it is what it is i i just i don't know it's not you're not it's not my it's not for me okay next up we got Wu Zetian. okay Wu Zetian is also giving me like sort of grandmother vibes right she likes to make sure that you eat when you come to the family dinner that's what she that's the vibes that i get okay it looks like she's not letting you leave her home until you eat food she also looks like a boss ass bitch she looks royal huge forehead by the way she's also got a five head and i don't understand what this headdress thing is going on here not really doing it for me okay not a huge fan of Wu Zetian. Uh, i'm gonna put her um probably she's probably the least uh, attractive character here maybe yeah no she I, I don't know i'm gonna just keep it 100 with you guys let's move on to zenobia oh my goodness it's zenobia that moment i have been waiting for whoo we zenobia she is my girl zenobia is she's beautiful she's beautiful look at the the curly black hair she is she's smiling she looks cute but she's also you know underneath this armor she she probably got a body she she probably do let's just keep it 100 okay she looks beautiful everybody loves zenobia she's also powerful in the game she's meta okay so she's actually useful and resourceful she's also a queen so she's rich i mean zenobia is every man's dream it is what it is okay absolutely beautiful she is gonna come up here uh, i think she's gonna be probably probably right here i think she's she's really up there in the s tier top three for sure next up we got what is this astrid what's her name she's one of the soroli bosses okay and she's just got two little pans over her titties she's got humongous big titties and they're covered by frying pans that's what it looks like to me the hairstyle is a little bit wild she also looks like she could beat the shit out of me probably has more testosterone than me if i'm being 100 with you guys okay so i don't i'm not um that's not for me uh, i'm probably gonna put her like you know what I'm, I'm gonna put her like i'm gonna put her like here i think she's actually there's something about her that i would want to hang out with her but besides that not really doing it for me next up we've got uh frida she is uh she's something right she looks like she would be like an astrology teacher at college right she looks like she would teach you about the dark arts or some shit kind of kinky right kind of kinky but i also have no idea how old she is is this naturally white hair gray hair or is she doing that because she's in touch with the spirits like i don't know she's got some like bones on her head i'm not really sure what's going on here with uh with frida but uh you know i think I i'm gonna put her probably like i'm gonna put her like here i think that's a solid ranking for frida she's kind of she's kind of weirded me out you know she looks like she's like that that aunt who's 45 who like comes to the party never got married type of thing right she really just she smells like incense and sage and shit uh but not the worst thing in the world so it is what it is next up we've got the guide 
We've got the guide from the beginning of the game. The guide is cute, man. She's kind of cute. She's she looks like she's like in like a wedding dress already. Like she's she's like she's down for it. You know what I mean? Um, I think she's beautiful. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. She just she looks great. She's just a very basic standard looking good looking woman it, it is what it is i think that's that's true this looks like a wedding gown type of a uh, portrait here okay i think she's a great looking character is she thick i don't know right i can't really tell with the dress here i, I wouldn't say so i wouldn't make right right down the middle you know right down the middle tiny ass nose so there's that she's good looking she's good looking i think so i'm gonna put her at the back of the a category because she 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 kind of looks like she'd be boring like she'd have like a blog about candles you know like natural soy all natural candles and shit she kind of looks like she would just be talking about stuff i don't give a fuck about uh but she's good looking and she's cute she's a nice girl right lovely woman so that's where i'm gonna put her there next up we've got the uh, mysterious merchant over here this is a girl that you meet at the bar and you get to do some kinky shit with okay let's just be real she she's good looking but she's a wild spirit there's no way you're taming her okay she's she's there for a bit and then she's gone you try to reach out to her she leaves you on red you know what i mean but then she'll she'll dm you later uh she gets back to you you know when, when she feels like it she's she's a free spirit but there's no doubt about it she's gorgeous look at her right she's beautiful big eyes she's got a uh, hu huge um uh playing cards right she plays Yu-Gi-Oh. she loves the uh, toon world deck right honestly she's probably more of a harpy lady sisters type of deck if we're being real but she, nonetheless okay i have no idea how old she is she could be anywhere from uh 20 to 35 i have no clue but she's beautiful nonetheless so i'm gonna put her uh i'm gonna put her in the a category i'm gonna put her probably about here um she's she's not as re she's not reliable enough to be in the s tier you know she's just she'll ghost you for a bit and just do her own thing and i don't know how dragon lancer got here i'm gonna be real with you guys i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea how dragon lancer got here okay but uh why not let's let's go ahead and rate dragon lancer i actually didn't even realize that he was here until just now i must have dragged and dropped his image in there but fucking dragon lancer you guys this bitch thick as fuck, dude this boy is a thick ass bitch dude he that belt is barely holding all of his beer in let's be real with you guys he's got a sword and better yet he's got a pipe he's smoking that good shit okay yeah he's a little bit old but he's still fast as fuck, boy he's thick as fuck. we already know it let's be real here dragon lancer obviously s tier everybody knows it you know it i know it dragon lancer's a thick boy okay santa claus is coming to town all right and he's smoking that good stuff so anyway guys that's gonna do it for the tier list hopefully this wasn't too cringe and hopefully i don't get canceled and uh hopefully i don't regret making this video guys if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up on it it helps out the channel a ton maybe other rise of kingdoms players will see this if you're new here subscribe to the channel click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video also if you've never played rise of kingdoms you can download it for free for your pc it's a program called blue stacks link is in the description below if you don't like it you can always get rid of it later but i like it i enjoy it with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace